Hey! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! We're done here. For now. <laughs> so, there we go. That's a lot of moons collected in such a small kingdom. But the density is craziness. Yeah, I know there's a chest up there, but that's something for later. That's one of those painting exclusive places, so yeah. Don't worry about that for now. So sure enough, despite us having a choice before, we still gotta go over to the Seaside Kingdom anyway and chase down that Bowser Bowser. So let's go. <laughs> I mean, gotta chase down the Bowser Bowser eventually, right? Right? Yeah. He's gonna, just gonna Kingdom Hop until we find them. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess we did find them before, but. Mario just did not listen to my advice, and he, he let him get away. <sighs> it's like, gotta use a better hook when fishing. <laughs> Ooh, maybe the Seaside Kingdom is a little too warm for this garb that I'm wearing. Hmm. So they're saying cake, frost, frosted cake at... I mean, they're, so they're serving, excuse me, frost, frosted cake at the wedding, are they? Not if we serve them at the feet first! Seeing as how we got some time to kill, let's review some useful skills, of course. The crouch! When you see something interesting out of reach and the ceiling is too low for you to get there normally! Press ZL to crouch. You can also walk that way. You notice that Mario also has cleats on the bottom of his shoes for extra snow grip? Yeah. <laughs> Just a little nice little tiny detail. Seaside Kingdom is a carbonated sea that's supposed to be quite nice, and it says here to be sure we visit the four giant fountains. Hmm. Hmm. Is that a tourist thing, or is that a storyline thing? I am betting both. <laughs> Bubbling, let's go! I see another Dory hanging out over there. It's a shiny version of Dory, though. Very rare. The glass is half empty. Oh no! Mollusk Lansour is drinking all the water! He's, what's on top of the fancy goblet? Hello. <laughs> Bubbling used to be a beautiful resort until that foul creature showed up. Oh, oh. Just look at him guzzling all of our treasured sparkle water. I guess that looks like a champagne glass. I guess I'll call it a champagne glass sparkle water. <laughs> Won't you help us put a stop to him? Mm, I mean, I guess I could. By the way, these are the bubblings, so take that into consideration for what you might see in the future. Yeah, Mario's a little bit on the warm side. Save some of us. <laughs> save some for us, you tentacle scoundrel. Tourists won't visit Bubbling as long as that sucker is creeping around. <laughs> <laughs> See, bubblings, yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I think I, sh I think I should probably change Mario into something a bit more fitting. And don't don't you think so? I think. So. What? Why was that? What? Why are you giving me so much trouble to open up this? Okay. <laughs> All right. So, what do you say we go to that? And yeah, we're back, baby. <laughs> Okay, so I think we are now ready to handle this environment. Mario, how you feeling about this place now? Not hot? Not cold? Good to go! Okay, just hope you sunblock. Look at Bowser Prince, which way did he go? The seawater here is fizzy as a soda. Ah, it's so refreshing. Good for those non-joints us snails have. When all four fountains are working, it's quite a sight to behold. Hmm. Hello? <laughs> when the waters of the four fountains combine, they create champagne sparkle water. This miraculous elixir brings happiness to any who imbibe it. What kind of monster would dis desecrate our beloved fountains? Oh no! Hello. <laughs> that button is key to restoring our precious fountains. Alright, so how do we get to that button anyway? Whoever plugged up the fountains wasn't messing around. Oh, it's Bowser! Dang it! Dang it! Well, let's see if we can unplug these fountains. We have a gush in here. Hello there. Yeah, it spews water at you. So you can press Y to jet forward, B jet upward, and you'll notice that as you keep jetting, your water bubble gets smaller and smaller as things go. See that? See that? I'm shrinking. Oh, and then you refill that water. So you don't have unlimited bubble power. 
but it's pretty pretty sufficient, I've got to say. And just like the Paragoombas, you have to land before you can get more height on your next shot. So, yeah. Hello there. Oh. Now, why would you pop out of there, Mario? <laughs> the stone pillar seal is actually not complete. I mean, we, we got a moon here, but for some reason... You hit the switch after you get the moon. I don't... I'm not sure either, but yeah. <laughs> Alright, that's one down. Oh, he is not going to be happy about that. <laughs> I'll really try all you want. I will never surrender the delicious champagne sparkle water. Oh, man. Oh, man. Spiky shells all over the place to boot. Oh, he's mad now. I think fountain's left. Let's hop to it. Yes, we should. I think we're gonna go over to the. Uh, wait a second. Wait a second. What would would you call that a lighthouse or a windmill, or is it just the tower? Hmm. Hmm. A mystery. A mystery. <laughs> so here we have moon snakes just rolling around with their asteroids, just being all spiky. Avoid them and their touch, of course, because they are kind of on the invincible side, just saying. Ooh, I see some purples. They are of the seashell shape. Uh, like that very well could be a tongue twister, but anyway. To enter the lighthouse, you must go a bit further ahead. Okay, so it's a lighthouse. So we're going to call it a windmill. So a little further ahead, huh? Hmm. So you can't actually get in there directly. Interesting. Interesting. Is it not? I think it is. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and grab singular coins around the spikies. Okay. There we go. And just, just basically when you're going... When you're dodging one of these, just follow the direction that they're moving, and you'll 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 be just fine. You got a nice speed, and yes, I will explore the underwater stuff later on after everything's finished. Because yeah, there's a hat door and all sorts of stuff underwater. As a matter of fact, there's probably more underwater than anything. To climb the lighthouse, I mean, I mean the windmill, you must first dive down into this underwater tunnel. Okay. <laughs> I'll just milk that, I don't know. <laughs> the tunnel down there is quite long. Only a fish can make it all the way. Oh no! Oh man! Where could we get a fish? Oh, there's a fish. How convenient! <laughs> so yeah, we just gotta go ahead and flop a fish out of water here. Just grab one of these. Hey guys! You don't mind if I steal your body for a minute, don't you? Okay. You'll be okay. Don't don't worry. You can just pop back on over here. Oh, wait, why don't I press the Y button to... It's B to surface. Y button to die. Mm. 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 Wait, wait, I want, I want other ringy. There we go. <laughs> All right. And we're in. Oh, man. Ooh, oh. What was the point of me grabbing a fish there when I... I get pooped out of the fish during the transition anyway. <sighs> Shouldn't have even bothered. <laughs> Forgot all about that. Anyway, let's go on and fish it up. Hey guys, a lot of fish down here. Oh jeez, Unagi! Including rather dangerous big fish, but don't worry. They aren't that dangerous. They just kind of... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they pop out wherever you are, basically. I was just joking around there. <laughs> There's also ones that come out directly from holes like that, which are more, I guess you could say, obvious where they're going to come out from. But uh, for now, you know, just as long as you keep just going forward, you'll be just fine. Wait, I think there's actually something, like, around some place. By the way, this place is really, really beautiful. Hmm... I totally missed the rings while I was focusing on dodging the Unagis. That is just a total, total injustice. <laughs> and there's air bubbles, like, I guess if you're not a fish. So this is probably possible to do as just regular Mario, since there's so much air around these parts. Oh, there we go, that's what I was looking for. That's why I kept looking back. Beautiful! Just don't, never, ever forget to look back. Because you might miss stuff in Mario Odyssey. Oh, mm, oh, my fishness! It, it can't go on. It, it can't go on. 
and suddenly we're on top of the windmill. Heck yeah! <laughs> uh, no, no, don't you dare call it the lighthouse. No. Bad. Bad. <laughs> Woo! The lighthouse seal has been opened up, and once again you get the moon before you pop the seal on it. I, I would, I seriously would think that you would get a moon after hitting that switch, nor in like normal circumstances, because it, it just makes sense to be like the reward. Because who's to say that Mario won't just jump right off of there and just ignore the switch? Excellent work. Just two fountains to go. Awesome, testic. Oh, I missed my hat on my dive forward. So that was where we were over there, and I guess I'll just continue on along land. If you'd like to, you can take a look, look, see around with the binoculars. Just because the glass is hemp half empty over there. Uh oh, and over there too. Man, we gotta go all the way around these parts, don't we? Eh, not a big deal. I mean, I'm just mainly focused on the surface at the moment in time. And just go ahead and power flower it up. Oh, jeez, they're mines! <laughs> eh, they're not that scary. So, oh, jeez, we got some lava going on here. Whoa, that looks burning hot! Maybe we can spray water on it. <laughs> who who would have guessed the gushing next to it and, you know, us kind of spraying things on other things just in general. So, yeah, you can clear stuff out thusly, but just like the poison... I, I'm not sure why you'd wanna wanna why you'd wanna do it the whole time. Anyway, Hot Spring Island. No kidding. <laughs> I don't think you wanna dive in that though. Yeah, so all this one's actually pretty simple. <laughs> Just go around over here and wait a second. Wait a second. Maybe it's not so simple. Well, actually, you are actually supposed to uncover the water, if I do recall correctly. <laughs> oh, jeez, none that I'm just getting burned all over the place. <laughs> okay, so, ooh! So I guess this makes sort of sense in, in grabbing... in grabbing the moon first, you know, to kind of unlock stuff and whatnot, so yeah. Anyway, I do believe you do want to uncover this whole watery area here and oop <laughs> whoops <laughs> even pulled out my headphones there on my flip of the arm downwards I gotta put my headphones in a better place but <laughs> yeah I do believe you need to get something under the water switched over if I recall correctly so hold on I'm just gonna go ahead here and see you can even recover yes and also notice that you're kind of kind of immune to the water. I mean, the the lava when you're in the water bubble. Yeah. Anyway, that was probably way too long of an explanation for something very simple. <laughs> the hot springs seal, and yes, the hot springs do feel pretty good when they're when the lava is off of them, and you can actually swim in them safely. <laughs> all right, so all the lava's gone. Mollusk Land Sewer is probably not too happy about that, but he's just gonna have to deal with it. Well, we pop another cork in his head. Well, on his head. There we go. Just one more fountain to go. Let's get the last one. And no, uh, he certainly doesn't seem like he is uh, too worried about them. He's just kind of sticking it out. Combos getting in your way, but not that much in your way. I'm mean, just, just shred them with your hat. As I said, I'll explore more of this as I go, you know, to the lower areas and stuff like that a little bit. Is there anything here? Probably Goombas. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. <laughs> and up here is the last of the fountains. Hello. How's it going? I tried to get the moon power moon in there, but alas, I'm not fleet of foot that cannot outrun the danger. Oh, man. Oh, man. There's all sorts of spiky shells rolling down the canyon in the Rolling Canyon. Who would have guessed that would be the name of it? You cannot see the magic of this place without all four fountains. To get through the canyon you must have extraordinary timing. I disagree. It's not that hard. <laughs> okay, let's get through this place that everyone is just having such difficulties with. Oh man, these obstacles. They're impossible. <laughs> no one will be able to get through this. No one! <laughs> well, I guess it's hard for them because they're snails and they don't have that sort of speed on them and Goombet's hanging out over here as you see up there, but we're kind of, we'll kind of get that stuff good to go a little bit later on when I can get 
couple of Goombas up through here. And I might as well grab these on the path up through here. Uh oh. Oh. It's a secret here of all places? That is not much of a secret, actually. <laughs> I mean, I guess it sorta is. <laughs> I'm gonna break them all just because. Actually, well. Eh, eh, okay, whatever. <laughs> Checkpoint above Rolling Canyon and collect that last power moon to open up the last switch. The seal above the canyon. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> so I guess, I know, I know, I get, I get the idea that the power moons have the power to open up cases and stuff like that, but I don't know, it still feels weird that you do the poop. You're giving me a tutorial on this because I haven't ground pounded, have you? But yeah, they're giving... <laughs> because it just seems like you would hit the switch and then you get a moon for hitting the switch. You know, you'd hit the switch and then a moon would appear on one of these, but no! But no, it just... it always seemed weird to me. The last one! There's your fourth lump. How you like those apples? <laughs> Alright, he's had enough! <laughs> It's time for the battle against Mollusk Lancior! Great, time to take back the spark of water, and to do so, we've got to get ourselves a friend. And I mean this sort of friend. Let's do this! You see, he's got lava on his head, and uh, if we've got water and he's got lava, I think you can see where this is going. So I'm just going to kind of go low here and just kind of wait for him to do his shooting and... And I'm just gonna go on top of his head and get ready. Oh no 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 no! no. Yep, no. Oh, oh oh oh! I ran out of water. Damn it! <laughs> That's okay. It's all about resource management. And he's he's a little squirmy here, so you might like might have to refill a few times. It's okay. <laughs> You've got a lot of water around here. Come on, come on, come on! Oh no 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 no! Okay, come on, come on! Oh, dang it! Oh, I'm getting you. I'm getting you eventually. Okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, he's even stopped the place there. All right, indeed. And he's ticked. Very, very ticked. He's coming after us, kind of. Okay, he's more like getting away from us. This battle, in a way, sort of reminds me of the Big Wiggler fight over at uh, Gelato Beach in Super Mario Sunshine because you're literally battling him all over the world as opposed to just like its own contained arena type place like most bosses are and we go again <laughs> oh oh man oh man he got away well maybe I would have to do something a little different this time like say a ground pound oh oh how's that sound Boop. Yep. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, that was your hint, because he kind of gets away from you, because it's like, it's like, he's only vulnerable to your water when he's got the fire on his head in this point in time, and then he, then he switches over to ground pound o'clock. So, yeah, I'll get those purples in my run through here. I'll focus mostly on the boss right now. I think I'd also hit some of those shells back at him. Uh, maybe not those, I think it's the other kind, like by flipping around like this, and then, yeah. But I, I just kind of always did it this way. So like, I mean, I, I guess I could just show you the other method because I'm pretty sure you can hit shells back in his face. Or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm thinking of some other boss. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. He's changing his attack pattern. Oh, I was paying attention to him, not the. Oh no, he was not changing his attack pattern that much. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! Get off! Ah! Oh, you oh, got away. He was. Oops, he was the one that got away. <laughs> and continue. Oh, there's a heart. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that drops them occasionally, not a big deal or anything like that. Oh, 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 wait, wait, I want you to... Oh, 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 ah! Oh. <laughs> Squirmy little sea dog. Oh, 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 Not gonna be able to get me when I'm under the water, because they, they just explode when they hit the water for some reason. Where'd you go? Uh, camera, camera. <laughs> Work with me here. Yeah, okay, there we go. And yeah, I guess maybe you lose your ability to to use the powers of the shell after a certain point. It was like those rounder shells that I think you could hit off the back to them, so and maybe a little bit too late on this one. Well, that was violent. Hmm. 
Yeah, well, I got a moon anyway. Or triple moon, multi moon, whatever you want to call them. We're good to go. Ooh! And now the champagne has been filled back up. Heck yeah! And also, you can go all the way down to the bottom and take a peek, see around. Look at that, there's a painting down there, but it's not anything that you could go in right now. Dang it! Dang it! If you want to get back up here later, just jump into the water and it'll spew you up here. But anyway. Multi-moon collected! Along with four other moons and a couple of purple coins here and there. And I'll do a more thorough exploration. Probably take two more parts to fully explore this place. Glass is half full. That is the optimist side of things because this place is a good. Woo! Yeah. Yes! <laughs> My goodness, what a pretty sunset. And it's so nice that the fountains and the champagne sparkling water are back. But it doesn't seem like Bowser Bowser is in this kingdom anymore. Shall we head to the next? Well, actually, we do need more moons. I don't think we have enough of them. Yeah, at C10, we only got seven here. Oh man, we're actually short. So we've actually got to check around and grab some moons. I'm going to end up with a lot more moons than I need by the end of this, I assure you. <laughs> So with that, I'm going to end off the video here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I explore this beautiful kingdom.